हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी डिस्कस पिजन होल प्रिंसिपल एंड दिस इज द लास्ट टेक्निक ऑफ काउंटिंग प्रिंसिपल और वी कैन से कॉम्बिनेटोरिक्स सो फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस व्हाट इज दिस प्रिंसिपल से एंड देन वी सॉल्व सम सम प्रॉब्लम विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस प्रिंसिपल फर्स्ट दिस प्रिंसिपल आल्सो नोन एज शू बॉक्स प्रिंसिपल ओके the another name of pigeon hole is shoe box so a uh, pigeon hole principle says that if n pigeons are assigned means there are n number of pigeons and m number of pigeon holes and we have to assign these pigeons to these pigeon holes in the m pigeon holes where the condition says that is m is less than n means the number of pigeon holes are less than number of pigeons then there will then the pigeon hole principle states that at least one pigeon hole contain two or more pigeons because the number of pigeon hole are less than the number of pigeons so we have to assign n number of pigeons into m pigeon hole where at least one pigeon hole is uh, exist where it contain two or more pigeons this principle is known as pigeon hole principle okay now uh, for solving some problem by the pigeon hole principle we extend this principle and we name it as extended pigeon hole principle this extended pigeon hole says if n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon hole as we already discussed then one of the pigeon hole must obtain at least flooring value of n minus m divided by m plus 1 pigeons as we discuss in the pigeon hole that if the number of pigeon hole are less than number of pigeons then at least one pigeon hole contain two or more pigeon so we extend this formula extend this statement by with the help of a formula which say that it contain at least flooring value this sign denotes the flooring value flooring value of n minus m upon m plus 1 pigeons okay now with the help of this formula of extended pigeon hole we solve some problem for example this is the first example which say that how many different rooms are needed to assign 500 classes if there are 45 different time periods in the university time table are available so we have to find out that how many different rooms are needed to assign these 500 classes means it means that we have n equals to 500 means the number of pigeons that we are assigned to the number of in into the pigeon hole is that we have to assign these classes with the according with the time table so n is 500 here m is 45 okay means we have to these uh, assign 500 classes according to this time table so m equals to 45 now according to the extended pigeon hole principle the formula is that is required number of rooms we have to calculate so the required number of rooms equals to flooring value of n minus 1 upon m upon m plus 1 now we substitute the value that is 500 minus 1 upon 45 plus 1 it comes out to be 499 minus upon 45 plus 1 it comes out to be 11.08 plus 1 or we can say 12.08 this is a flooring value so it means the final answer is 12.08 it means that we the to assign these 500 classes according to the 45 different time table we have to require at least 13 rooms 13 room why 13 room because after applying the extended pigeon hole principle uh, the value comes out to be 12.08 so the so means it is 
uh, it means that we require above the 12 room that means we required at least 13 rooms to assign these 500 classes okay so this is how we use pigeonhole principle now we take some more example to solve the extended pigeonhole see this see this question show that if 30 dictionaries in a library contain a total of 61,327 pages, then one of the dictionary must have at least 2045 pages. In this question, we do not have to calculate any value. We have to only prove this or we have to only show that we require at least 205 pages. This means the solution is that here uh, pages will be Pages will be like pigeons or we can say n. Okay. So and the pigeonhole is means the dictionary is just like pigeonhole. Pigeonhole which is equals to m here. So according to the pigeonhole n minus 1 upon m plus 1 is equal to at least condition. What is the at least condition here is? At least condition is 2045. Now we calculate or we prove this. So what is N here? N is 61327 minus 1 upon what is M? Dictionary are 30. Upon 30 plus 1 is equal to 2045. Now with this 61326 upon 30 plus 1. So if you calculate this value, it comes out to be 2045 pages at least 2045 pages so this is how the proving question comes on uh, on the basis of extended pigeonhole now we take another example in which uh, question is how many friends must you have to guarantee that at least at least condition is 5 of them will have the birthday in the same month okay so to solve this suppose we n is Number of friends we have to calculate. Okay. M is that we have to assign the number of friends into number of month. So the total in the same month means the total month is 12. So M is 12. The at least condition is 5. So according to the pigeonhole, extended pigeonhole, N minus 1 upon M plus 1 is equals to 5 here because at least condition is 5. We have to calculate n here. So n minus 1 upon 12 plus 1 equals to 5. Then n minus 1 upon 12 is equals to 4. n minus 1 equals to 48 and n equals to 49. So it means this shows that among 49 student friends at least Five of them will have birthday in the same month. Okay. So, I hope you guys, you understood this topic. And uh, still, if you have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section. And uh, keep watching our video. And if you... Or you can send your query to our business email ID that is itechnicallearning at the rate gmail.com. Thank you so much.